Hi. You know, when um, I first started practicing as a cognitive therapist, and this is probably about 25 years ago, I really had no idea that I would be working with eating disorders because it wasn't something really that people who were hypnotherapists worked with. It was something that was just purely within the medical field. And it was a just a circumstance really where the daughter of a friend of a friend was referred to me to see if I could help. And I sat and talked with her and and we gelled and I thought it was worth exploring because she wasn't being helped within the mainstream. That people who were in her eating disorder clinic, the best that was being achieved was they stabilized, but nobody was actually leaving recovered, becoming free of their eating disorder. So while they disagreed, I thought there was nothing to be lost. And I worked with this young woman for probably 18 months to two years and absolutely it changed her life. She was able to let go of the eating disorder. She was able to go traveling, backpacking to Australia. She's since become a mother of three children. She's actually since become a uh, practicing cognitive therapist who specializes in eating disorders. And I probably learned more from that single client that defined my role as a therapist, that made me understand just how important our work is than anybody before or since. It really it changed my life as much as it changed hers. So I'm passionate about this particular area of work. And it's serious work because clearly there can be dreadful outcomes to somebody not being helped by this. But this is something that I think is worth exploring if you are currently suffering from an eating disorder. It isn't going to promise you miracles. It's going to need you to want to be better. It's going to need a strong relationship between you and the therapist. So exploring the right one for you will be critical to it. But there's a great deal to hope for because it's basically just the fact that your mind has made a mistake. This isn't, I don't think, actually about food. It's about control, usually, and your relationship to yourself. So it's not about changing your eating regimes. It's about just getting you being happier being you. And what I find is in the way that we work, as people are becoming increasingly happy with themselves, their need to respond to their unhappiness through their food restrictions or their, their, their relationship to food changes with it. So it can be quite a gentle way of improving, although it's quite a tough approach, as all improvement tends to be in this kind of area. So I hope you can hear that I'm, this is not an alternative approach. We would nearly always suggest that you're working still with people in the medical community. We complement the work that they do. But if you're not currently being helped, then this might be something to explore with a therapist you find that you can trust. So please come and look for us and contact us. And if you have any questions, then please do email or ring or get in touch in some form because there is help available and you can be better.